guys welcome back to my channel my name is patience if you are new here and if you have not subscribed to my channel kindly click the subscribe button right now it is free and if you want to start your sewing journey this is a detailed tutorial on how to draft the basic bodies if you want to see more sewing tutorials then of course subscribe to my channel the basic body is the body of a dress or a blouse which you wear on the upper part of the body it can be used to make tops you know dresses of different styles and you know of different necklines so this is the front piece and this is the back piece on the back piece i added one inch for zip allowance and this line is my shoulder line that i'll start my measurements i'll be drafting on both the front and the back piece so i'll go ahead and label this as the front piece and this as the back piece So the first measurement I'll be taking is my shoulder measurement. My shoulder measurement is 16 inches. 16 divided by 2 is 8 inches. And I'll be adding one half inch or you can add one inch for sewing allowance. Then I'll come down by one inch from the eight and a half inches for my shoulder slant because our shoulders are not straight. So the next measurement I'll be taking is my sh my chest line, or you can call it your armhole measurement. Mine is eight inches, so I'll go ahead and measure eight inches and connect the points. My armhole measurement is actually sixteen inches, so sixteen divided by two is eight inches. I'll go ahead and measure this eight and a half inches on the chest line. Then I'll connect the points, making a vertical line. For the back, I'll start by measurement from the zip allowance. So I'll do the same thing on the back piece. So the next measurement I'll be taking is my shoulder to bust measurement. My shoulder to bust point is 10 and a half inches. So I'll go ahead and measure 10 and a half inches and connect the points. So the next measurement I'll be taking is my shoulder to waist measurement. So my shoulder to waist measurement is 17 inches. I'll go ahead and measure 17 inches and connect the points. So on the back piece, I won't measure my shoulder to bust. I will measure my shoulder to back half length, which is 15 inches. So I'll go ahead and measure 15 inches and connect the points.
so i'll also be taking my shoulder to waist measurement on the back piece Now I'll measure my shoulder to hips, which is 26 inches. It's like the full length I'm working with. So the next thing I'll be doing is to create my armhole. I'll go ahead and measure this vertical line and mark out the midpoint, which is four inches. Then I'll come in by three quarter inch. So from the three quarter inch, I will make a slant line to the tip of the shoulder. And then I'll use the curved ruler to curve my armhole. So for the back armhole, I'll also take the midpoint of this vertical line but I'll come in by half an inch. Then from the half inch, I'll connect, I'll make a slant line to the tip of the shoulder, then curve my armhole. So for the neck, I'll be using 3 inches for the width and I'll also be using 3 inches for the depth. So for the back neck, I'll also be using 3 inches for the width, but I'll be using one inch for the depth. So you can use those basic bodies to draft different types of necklines, sweetheart, v-neck, square neck, off shoulder, and so on. So the next thing is to create our darts. In order to do so, we need our bust span measurement, which is a distance from one nipple to another. Mine is 8 inches. 8 divided by 2 is 4 inches plus half inches, which is 4.5. So I'll go ahead and measure the 4.5 inches on my bust point, my waist, and my hips. So on the hips, I'll come up by 2 inches. Then on the bust point, I'll come down by 1 inch. Now go ahead and connect the points. That is from the two inches and the one inch. So I'll be using one inch to create my dart. On the waist, I'll measure half inch on both sides. Then I'll create my dart. So the reason why we need to add that to our dress is to provide shape to maybe a curved area on our body. That is why we have different type of dart. You can decide to to make a armhole dart, a waist dart, a center front dart, mid shoulder dart, and so on. So for the back, I'll also measure my post band measurement on the chest line, on the waist line, and also the hip line.
So on the heat line, I'll come up by two inches. Then on the chest line, I'll come down by two inches. Then I'll go ahead and connect the points. So on the back, I'll also be using one inch for the dart. I'll go ahead and measure half inch on both sides on the waist, then I'll create my dart. So I'll be taking a mid shoulder dart, it's not compulsory anyway, you, just in case. So from the boss point, I'll come up by one inch, I'll go ahead and measure my shoulder and mark the mid point, then I'll connect the points together, that is from the mid point of the shoulder and the one inch on the boss point. So I'll also be using one inch for the dart. So from the midpoint, I'll mark half inch on both sides. Then I'll create my dart. So the next thing I'll do is to take my circumference measurements. Each measurement divided by 4 inches. My boss is 42. 42 divided by 4 is 10.5. But I'll make it 11 inches for ease. Then I'll add 1 inch for sewing allowance. So I'll bring down the measurement also on my bust line. So my waist circumference is 36 inches, 36 divided by 4 is 9 inches, I'll go ahead and measure 9 inches, then I'll add 1 inch for the dart I took, because we'll be sewing it in, so an extra 1 inch for sewing allowance. So my hip measurement is 44 inches, 44 divided by 4 is 11 inches. So I'll go ahead and mark 11 inches and 1 inch for sewing allowance. Then I'll connect the point to create my shape. So for the back, I'll go ahead and take my circumference measurement too. On my bust point, my waist, which is 9 plus 1 inch for that and 1 inch for sewing allowance. Then on my hips also, which is 11 plus 1 inch for sewing allowance. Then I'll go ahead and connect the points to create my shape. So on my back half length, which is 15 inches, I'll, I'll go ahead and measure 1 inch for my zip tightening. You can use half inch, you can use 3 quarter inch, it depends on your back. My back is deep, that's why I'm taking 1 inch. So from this 1 inch, I'll go ahead and make a slant to the edge of the shoulder.
I'll also make a slant line from the one inch to the edge of the hip line. So the reason why we take zip tightening is just to avoid or at least reduce zip bulge. A situation where the zip at the center back is not fitted. So that is that. So we are through with drafting. I'll be cutting it out. I'll start by cutting the middle of the pattern. Then I'll cut out the front piece. Then the back piece. So I also have a tutorial on how to draft a basic sleeve. I'll put the link on the description box below. You can check it out. So when tracing on your fabric, remember that both should be on fold and you still take your one inch for zipper allowance. I'll go ahead and label this for me to know which is which. This is the back piece. So this is the chest line, the waist line, the hip line. And the zipper allowance. This is the front piece, the chest line, bust line, the waist line, and the hip line. So that is it, guys. We have come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned a thing or two. If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and on the notification bell to be notified each time i upload a new video so see you on my next video thank you bye